Hi, hello there. Have you ever had the impression that the virtual assistant of your car navigation was yelling at you? I did. And sometimes I still do. I remember when I first noticed that. I was on a business trip by car and somewhere along the way I had a brief errand and weird of the planned course. The Garmin lady of course noticed that. Make a U-turn in 200 meters. As I approached the crossroads, she reminded me, make a U-turn now, already with a slightly raised tone, as if she had anticipated that I would ignore her instructions. Of course, I continued straight forward, and after recalculating the route, I was warned, make a U-turn in two kilometers. I already thought I'd better switch off the navigation or it would end badly. As I approached the next junction, the Garmin lady completely flipped out. Make a U-turn now, you Of course, she did not uh, say those last words, but that's what I heard in my head. Does this sound familiar? Have you ever had a similar experience with the navigation or perhaps with Siri? Of course, navigation is emotionless and only follows calculations and built-in logic when giving instructions. Just like Spock, the always well-balanced character from Star Trek. But what the Garmin lady says is not necessarily what we hear. That, of course, depends on our inner voice shaped in our childhood. If our parents have often been impatient and implanted us a sense of guilt, such feelings have become engraved, embedded in our inner selves. And when we later find ourselves in a similar situation, uh, even if only dealing with the car navigation and not necessarily with our Almighty Father, our inner self recognizes the situation and we relive those feelings over and over again. Like, like the Jack Russell Terrier from the famous logo of the British record label, His Master's Voice. Once we are aware of these feelings, we can start dealing with them. I don't believe that we can eliminate them. Still, we can learn to live with them and not let them rule our lives. A bit like John Nash, a Nobel Prize winner uh, whose story about fighting schizophrenia was so brilliantly portrayed in A Beautiful Mind, one of my favorite movies. And most importantly, I don't want my children being yelled at by the car navigation. Therefore, we must learn not to pass on these feelings to our children not to curse them for life with our sense of guilt. And if we manage to do that, we have done a great deal. If you like the story, thumbs up. Interested to hear more? Stay tuned. Bye.